Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video, Prince Mason here. Today, we're going to go over a few mistakes that I made, or a few terrible and expensive mistakes because it cost me money that I've made over the past few years. And um, just talk about why you shouldn't make those mistakes too. So, cue the intro. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by moi, me, myself, and I. You guys should go check out my digital store. You guys can purchase a few things there. My skin tone lots for light and dark skin tones. And I also have my retouching essentials pack. Um, it's right there in my digital store. Go check it out. And if you're not purchasing anything, then you can definitely check out my freebies that I have there. I have the free eyes and teeth whitening action. And I also have a free frequency separation action for you guys. So let's get into today's video. So what are these things that I did or these mistakes that I made? made um as a photographer over the past few years that have affected me so much i think it has cost me so much money because i would have made a lot more money than um i'm making right now than i've made so let's get to the first one the first one is not creating a specific portfolio for everything now as photographers starting up we shoot different things you know you try out different niches um is that a word niches is it can you say okay. yeah so we try out different things and we shoot different types of pictures you know you you'll probably be trying out weddings because that's i think that's like the easiest thing to get into you know event photography then you know portrait photography beauty you're just going to try out a lot of things you know um probably um even um, product photography now the mistake i made was just packing everything and putting it in one place now if clients are coming to your page and they want to see what you can offer most times they are looking for a photographer that is good at doing one specific thing so if um someone's trying to shoot a wedding or someone's sorry someone's looking for a photographer to shoot their wedding they are probably going to come to your page and want to see wedding pictures on there if someone's looking for a beauty photographer they'll come to your page and they want to see beauty photography on there so looking for a way to create um, different um, portfolios for different things that you do would be perfect because nobody wants a one size fits all type of photographer they just want someone that is really good at doing one specific thing and they will hire that person for that specific thing now if you are a photographer that is good at doing a lot of things and you want to show them off then probably just arrange maybe you know those your instagram stories that you can save you know get yourself a nice website this video is not sponsored by Squarespace, but I'm creating my new website with Squarespace. So get yourself a really nice website. Um, I think Squarespace is really easy. There's Wix too. So try one of those platforms out or go read reviews. Anyone that works for you. Get yourself a website, you know, make your website really detailed. You know, if you have your beauty part, you have portraits, you have um, everything, you have everything just laid out perfectly there. That was one mistake I did. I just packed everything I was doing in one place until I realized that, you know, when you separate it, it's just easy for your clients to digest everything and understand that this person is really good at these few things and they'll reach out for you. Sorry, they'll reach out to you based on those amazing things that you can do and trust me you'll make a lot more money so the second thing was having gas which is gear acquisition syndrome gear acquisition syndrome gas yes um gas is when you just buy everything that you want to buy like if you see a new camera you're getting it and you know i invested more in cameras than in educating myself than in building my business and building my knowledge which is which is a mistake a lot of people make a lot of people feel like you should actually just put more money into gear and gear is going to like sort everything out for you now don't get twisted gear is important in photography if if you meet somebody that said gear doesn't matter the person does not know what they're talking about or the person is just saying that in a specific way gear is very very important in photography if you want to take amazing wedding pictures and you're shooting with like a, an 85 1.2 someone that has an 85 1.8 will not be able to get the type of amazing pictures that you're going to get but you need to learn how to use your gear perfectly and not invest in too much gear and not waste too much money so i got to a point where i had um two camera bodies and i was just a portrait photographer and i didn't need two expensive camera bodies um for what i was doing at that point i was just buying lenses i was just investing in things that i didn't need and at the end of the day i had to sell all that stuff so if you are a budding photographer if you've been doing photography for a while try to invest in educating yourself especially in the business side 
of um, photography and not just the business side of photography in business in general try to educate yourself spend more money to educate yourself and that way you'll be able to make a lot more money we're not going to move to number three which is not treating photography as a business a lot of people just treat it as that thing that they love doing that thing that they love to do you know i love to take pictures so i just want to take pictures of this person and this person and there's no specific move so if you treat photography as a business and you want to let's say i keep using weddings because it's just easy and i just feel like it's probably one of the most popular things in the world right let's say you're a wedding photographer you want to shoot weddings you know and you're in the studio shooting beauty photography and just shooting random stuff because you really like it you're not treating your photography as business you have to shoot things that will appeal to the type of clients that you want to make you have to um, get contracts you have to talk to your clients constantly you have to be able to go for business meetings you know structure your photography in a way that is making money remember when it comes to the business of photography photography is just 20 percent of that it's very important that's why i'm going to say invest in an education you know it, I'm, what i mean that i don't mean go to school or something like you can learn on youtube just just buying data and learning on youtube is investing in an education right you have to invest in and education to understand the 20% and know how to take amazing pictures, then you now have to invest again in the business side so that you can make money off this thing that you are doing. Because if you are going to treat photography as just a passion and something that you just do for fun, you are not going to make money out of it. There are people that make six figures out of photography constantly and they are not as good as you are. And that's because they treat photography as a business. And you have to go learn about business and understand that this thing that you are doing is the business and the only way you're going to make money out of it is by treating it like one so yeah let's move to the next point so another mistake i made was not understanding that business is not the same in different parts of the world so some of us have um been watching a lot of um, successful entrepreneurs in the states and um, in other parts of the world and we've been going off the advice and that way it has affected how you do business in africa or in nigeria per se so di business here is different <laughs> from doing business abroad there's some principles that are you know almost the same and there's some things that you can take from there and use here and it's going to work perfectly but when it comes to business here yeah, i would advise you get a mentor in your country someone that's doing really good in business and talk to them or not just one person just talk to different people that are doing really good in their businesses and that way you would learn more on how to thrive um where you are business wise so if you are somebody that is just going online or you're just reading books of people that have thrived in other countries and i'm not saying it's not going to work but you have to understand that you need to know the things to pick out of those books the things to pick out of what those people are saying that would work in your space in your own country in your own area business is different across the world yeah there are some principles that stay and stick and are the same thing but if you know you want to make money where you are you need to talk to people that are successful around you you need to talk to people that have been doing it for years around you and they'll explain why business where you are is sometimes just different from business all around the world and i can tell you for a fact that doing business in nigeria is different from doing business in any other part of the world so if you are here in nigeria you have to understand that business here is it's crazy it's a crazy place business here is just nuts and the last mistake i made was taking on everything myself so there was a time i used to retouch myself edit my videos myself do everything myself i would shoot retouch edit go out shoot videos do everything myself and it just kills you you don't have time for other things you don't have time to actually plan any other thing in your life you don't have time to think about how to expand how to grow your business because you are spending so much time just doing every other thing like the little things that are there so you have to diversify well no no not diversify you have to share responsibilities let me put it that way in your business you know some people should um work on um editing some people should work on um you know probably reaching out to clients or something you just have to i don't know you just have to spread your business in different ways like right now i have people that edit for me you know when it comes to photos it's not like i can't do it but i have people i'm training that edit photos for me i have um people that edit videos for me so i don't have to do everything myself i can concentrate more on the business aspect of my work and leave the or not like i'm not involved in the creative aspect too i still go out i still shoot but um because i love shooting like it's something that I'll, I'll do forever but you know after shooting i can now say okay you know designate different um chores or i don't know work to different people and now concentrate on the next big thing you know concentrate on going out to get more jobs concentrate on going out to talk to clients con concentrate on um, customer care with clients and all that stuff so don't do everything yourself don't be that um one man um one man army 
don't be the one man army that's trying to do everything yourself try to diversify um try to uh, you know um not diversify why do i keep using that word um try to uh, share your projects amongst different people you know you don't have to employ these people who can just be on a contract you know if you're done working probably um give editing out to somebody else and um you know uh, video editing give it to somebody else just do something like just share your work in a way that you don't have to be the person the main person that's doing everything and that way like i said you'd have more time to go out and get more jobs and get a lot more money into your company so it's 2020 i hope you guys learned a lot from this do not make the same mistakes that i made over the past few years just grow gradually and just put these things into place and you see how your business is going to grow even more anyways don't forget to check out my digital store and big shout out to everybody that's out there that has purchased stuff for me and is supporting the channel i really appreciate it i hope you guys learned a lot today comment below let's have a discussion you guys don't comment as much I, I get a lot of likes i get a lot of everything but i just want my engagement to grow so comment below let me talk if you have any other ideas you want to add to this put it in the comments below let's talk about this anyways thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one have an amazing day peace